Hey folks, here we are. I've got a three inch hole saw. I'm going to go through this hardy backer board on the floor. I'm going to try to find the drain because we're going to put a shower in this corner of this bathroom. And so, Lord willing, I uh, can give it enough circumference to tie into the drain that's going outside. on this week's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our adventures. It might be a little smoky from the board, but stay visual, you won't have to breathe it. side on this. Uh, this is the bottom. Oh, wait a second. No, I think that's the top. So it'll be like this. Yeah. Hold this. Okay, let me turn this around like this for a second. I'm gonna, I just gotta make sure I get this. So as you can see, we have the shower kit that we are going to do our best to put together and make watertight. <laughs> yeah, these are, these are where the, this is where the front is, this is the back. Can you show up? Can you check it out, look at that. We have this. What is that for? I, know, I, I gotta get my glasses on. Okay. Let me get out of the Spanish. <laughs> okay, uh, this is this is felt for a softener, I'm sure. Yahoo! There we are. And there is the inside. Everything comes assembly required <laughs> and there's the bottom that we've already got in hey folks welcome again to seven mile hill sanctuary here we are back at the cabin and uh, as you can see we've got this shower installation uh, put together Got my good friend Norman Grist here, certified plumber's technician. So we're, we've got the uh, supply line right here that we just plumbed in from outside water source and we just did a test to see if it was gonna leak because I'm paying this guy a big box so I wanna make sure I'm getting what I'm paying for. At any rate, Mr. Grist has uh, determined that this is gonna be sufficient for our needs and sure enough, there's no leaks. So we're getting ready to put this uh, wall back together, but before we do that, we're going to put this 
shower valve in. As you can see, everything is PEX. We're running PEX tubing. There's no copper. And here's our supply. Here goes the shower head. This will be the hot going out to the kitchen sink for the supply. Here's the cold, which will be coming in off of this. So we're excited to get uh, Mr. Grace here to help us put the rest of this plumbing together. And Lord willing, the first recipient of uh, Seven Mile Hill to use this cabin will be pleased and blessed. I hope you are too. Take care. You got the screwdriver, Normie? Yeah. Okay. okay. Which way I gotta go? You want light? Yeah. I can tap down, whatever you gotta do. Sound like you just you hit that one. Did you get it to go? No. What do you gotta have? You got your flashlight on there? Yeah, that one's in. That was clear through. Perfect. Get the bottom one. Can you see? No? No. How's that? Did that help? Maybe I gotta go this way. Is that better? Hold on, he's gotta pull it out. I think he's got it. Sounds like you got it. That's better than wax? Yeah, it's got... It's got this softener underneath here. Yeah? It'll seal it. So when I come up with the cement underneath this, this goes flush with this. See what I'm saying here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then the toilet can sit right back on top of this. The, the bottom of that has got a thing and it sets inside this. And you're not going to need to put any kind of wax or no, sealant no, no. or nothing? No, 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 no. Well, no. This has got, see this little pucker thing? Yeah. The water goes right down inside the pipe. Hmm. See that right there? Alrighty. <laughs>
against the wall. So this looks like a mop board when it goes on top of the tile that we're gonna put in there. So you don't see the PEX tubing coming across the base of the water lines. This will go over the, after I've dated this out right here, uh, it'll hide the PEX on the inside of the wall. So the PEX will be on this side, the tile will be under it, and then this will show like a mop board here. So it's, it's to protect it as well as to conceal it, but right now we've got to, we've had to modify it a little bit and we're getting ready to cut it to length and to rather than drill a hole through this for the stem out for the packs, I'm just going to notch the bottom and set it down over the top of it. Here's our multi-purpose tool, oscillating tool. Some call it a fine tool because F-E-I-N is the original German engineer and as you can see it works. So I'm going to use this to notch out the bottom and you're going to see if I notch it then this can set right over the pipe itself flat on the floor rather than paddle bit a hole through there and then have to recut the plumbing. So I'm going to do this like this. probably a lot to do with it but hopefully this will work as we're going to see right now okay folks we're, we're back at this modification in this thing where I dated it I got a notch I got this notch but it's not quite enough it's a half inch pipe but the OD is probably somewhere around three quarters and I've got just over a half inch probably about five eighths so it has to go deeper so we're going to notch a little bit more <laughs> done. Robin is now in the final phase of her taking this bathroom to its full finished trim and touch up painting and now that she's got the floor routed in as you can see pretty spectacular job I'd say it was pretty good very very good so shower works yep. toilet works and sink works all done but the trim work and the touch up painting Yep. Praise the Lord.